Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tarot here and I'm going to do a weekly reading for water signs. So it'll just be a general reading, um, just to see if we can pick up some energies on what's going on this week. So as you know, I always shuffle the cards before I do the spread, but water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Hierophant, Reversed. Um, it is a testing time for a lot, you know, our faith. Not just our bank balances are being tested. Why are we being put in this position? Um, don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Um, it's for a reason. Um, and some, are, you know, some people out there are suffering more than others. But there's a reason for this. There's a real deeper reason for this. So don't lose faith. Or it could be with the Hierophant. Um, you know, this week could be about really having some struggles in your um, marriage or your home or some real conversations that need to be had about what's working and what isn't. It's almost, I get this thing, I just saw, heard leadership. Um, it's about leadership, I think. The Empress, absolutely. Two major cards. So maybe... Um, there's a bit of an inner battle about the leadership in the household this week. Yeah, that makes sense. The Queen of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, I think there's a dynamic between um, a female in a household. Maybe it's a single parent. Maybe this week it's about um, a single parent, a single female, having to really rise to the occasion. So if you're single out there, um, well done. I want you to know that I think being in a situation like this on your own, if that's what's happening to you, um, you are amazing. To not have someone to bounce ideas off or just talk to or you only have one income and you have children, um, you know, you're doing so well. And unfortunately, there are some deadbeat parents out there that won't support some can't but others just deliberately hide money and um, that's not kosher at all six of cups I think it is about family I think it's about the dy dynamic in a family and maybe there's being in lockdown um, there's a female energy that like the divine feminine coming into her power after feeling very um, controlled, maybe. Um, the Divine Feminine looking at the past, realizing it might not have served her. So a real spiritual awakening, I think, for water signs for the Divine Feminine this week. Two of Swords. Indecision. Three of Cups. Celebration. I think the Divine Feminine is finally deciding that the decision she made was right for her and she should celebrate that six of wands even though the six of wands is reversed I think there is success coming I think there is success coming because whoever you are you are able to um yeah you're the high priestess you're the emperor empress the high priestess you are so powerful you're so powerful. And I think limiting beliefs maybe from the past. Maybe there was a controlling relationship that um, basically told you that they were the more superior partner. They were the one that um, should make the decisions. And now that you're free from that, you're making the decisions and I think, you know, this is a time where we can really reflect and don't sit there and think, well, I'm on my own, so should I have done that? Um, yeah, you should have. You should have done it. Because relationships, marriages are about teamwork, they're about loyalty. And, you know, I don't think there was some, I don't think there was loyalty in this relationship, guys. So I think that there's a single parent out there that should be so proud of what they're doing. They 
need the encouragement. They need someone to tell them that it's going to be okay. And, you know, once they pass through this phase, the Six of Wands will be upright. And they'll walk through this isolation, this lockdown with the head held high, even if they don't feel it now. So I think another message is, guys, get up, get out of bed, make the decision. Um, don't stay in bed all day. Don't feel the world on your shoulders because it's not. And I think there's going to be new opportunities once all of this pass because you are the high priestess. You have intuition um, above no other. Um, you are beautiful. And I just feel like maybe this relationship or marriage might have lowered your self-esteem. Um, and this, I think this week's about realizing that you've got this. You've totally got this. Yeah. I also feel maybe like an idea that you have, you should run with that idea. Don't, um, don't um, let a few setbacks stop you from pursuing what you want to do because a lot of people get set, you know, setbacks, but it doesn't mean they can't achieve a huge goal. So I just have an oracle card for you, Guardian of Destruction. Yeah, I think that this is about, um, if it's not too glary, a relationship um, that broke up. And it was destructive. And it's lowered someone's self-esteem. You know, some people willingly go out of their way to destroy things. They willingly, unfortunately, that's that narcissist. They willingly go out of their way to destroy um, abundance. Um, destroy happy families. Destroy um, jobs, you know. Um, especially if you're dealing with with someone pretty toxic, you know, even though you might have had everything, some people don't care. It's just their way to, I don't know, there's a saying, and you'll know it. It's like the scorpion and the frog, and the scorpion wanted to go over the lake, but couldn't because it would drown, and ask the frog, and the frog said, no, I'm not going to take you because you'll sting me and I'll die. And the scorpion was like, no, why would I do that? Because if you die, then I'll drown. And that doesn't make any sense. So the frog thought, okay. So he took the scorpion over. And then halfway through, the scorpion stung him. And he said, why are you going to do that? I'm, you know, we're both going to die now. And he said, it's in my nature. So I don't know why that I had to say that. But um, it's in that other person's nature. Um, but you are free from that. The divine feminine is, is rising and especially now she's rising so high. It's just incredible what I'm seeing. So this week's all about you. It's all about your success. And I just think you just need that encouragement to, to you know, to be told you got this. Okay? Because you do.